Hey everybody, this is Brad at Pisces Pet Emporium again, and today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite African cichlids, and that's going to be the electric yellow bunas. I walk in Pisces, we sell animals. All right, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about the electric yellow labs today. These are a really fun Buna cichlid to add into your African cichlid tank, or you can even have these as the only African cichlid in your tank as they do really well as a species tank. The main thing that you're going to want to worry about these guys is going to be in pH. Well, here in Alberta, we don't have to worry about it as actually our pH matches these guys' pH almost perfectly anyway. But for those of you outside of Alberta, Canada, you're going to want to raise your pH to about 8.8. Uh, um, the other thing you're going to want to run is going to be about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I usually find that that mark of 77 is going to be the sweet spot for most African cichlids. Now the interesting thing about these guys are is that they're actually more of a rock or a cave dweller. So they tend to stay at the bottom of your tank um, and kind of inhabit the rocks and caves and things in there. So some of the decoration recommendations that I have are going to be lava rock and terracotta pots. Um, the terracotta pots make excellent spawning grounds for the females, as well as the lava rock creates a really nice aesthetic look for you. Um, having lots of different caves and rock piles in the tank will really encourage natural behavior, as well as it'll also encourage breeding from both um, electric yellows or from all Buna cichlids, as they can all kind of interbreed and go Buna mutts. The main and the most cool part about these guys, in my opinion, is actually their diet. Believe it or not, they actually have a lot of veggies in their diet. These guys eat a lot of the algae off of the rocks and the caves in the wild. Um, and that's gonna be kind of what you wanna replicate in your diet at home. So I really like the North Fin veggie pellet in particular for these guys, as it's a fast sinking pellet that's just gonna go right down to the bottom. The other thing I'm going to recommend for these guys is also going to be the North Fin Krill Gold. The Krill is going to really help bring out their yellow coloration. Mixing the two usually is what I recommend, doing about a 50-50 mix, a bag of both, mixing it into one big bag, shaking it up really good and using that as your staple diet. The other thing you're going to want to supplement as well are algae wafers and if you want to give them a treat you can float romaine lettuce on top of the tank and they'll usually nip at that as well. You can also supplement with frozen stuff like brine shrimp and bloodworms and mysis but you actually want to pretty much avoid most of that. I really only recommend frozen diets maybe once or twice a week at most. Uh, while you want to go for a mostly um, pellet based diet with these guys I find works best. I wouldn't do a tank any smaller than about a 55 gallon for these guys. Um, I usually also tend to over filter with African cichlids as a whole. They're going to want lots of water changes, very clean water. Uh, so for a 55 gallon, I am going to recommend at least a 407 by Fluval, or I'm going to recommend an AquaClear 110. Um, usually getting to at least 100 gallons of filtration on a 55 gallon tank is going to be ideal for this species. And I usually recommend two 15 or 20% water changes a week for a mature tank. Um, I always like to say with African cichlids, your best form of water changes is when your test kit says so. So if your test kit says you need a water change in two or three days, give them the water change in two or three days. If your test kit says you can go five days, seven days, go five days, seven days. But you always wanna do at least 25% weekly. Uh, never push any more than a week, especially with these guys. These guys are gonna be releasing a lot of pheromones into their tank um, and and one way to combat that is water changes and overfiltration. Uh, overall, these guys are a really excellent species to keep. Uh, they're always one of my personal recommendations here in Alberta because of how really, really easy it is to keep them. All you need to do is a little bit of aquarium salt in the water, cave systems, uh, about 10 Buna cichlids or more. I do recommend overpopulating a Buna tank. Uh, it's to disperse the aggression amongst each other. Um, and overall, these guys could actually be your first fish here uh, in Alberta because of how easy it is to maintain that high pH and hardness. Um, if you guys want to learn anything more about these Buna cichlids, why don't you come on in the Pisces Pet Emporium and have a chat with one of us here. If you really like this video today, why don't you just uh, give us a like down at the bottom, comment something there, and subscribe here at Pisces Pet Emporium. And if you guys really like the video, uh, why don't you guys give a suggestion of what you want me to talk about next time in the bottom there. Right? Enjoy the rest of your day.